Hey, greetings, creepers. This is Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com, and I'm opening yet another package full of wonderful weirdness. Uh, this is one I got through um, through Kickstarter or via Kickstarter, or it was a premium from Kickstarter. And y'all are doing Kickstarter, right? You um, get that wonderful crowdsourcing, crowdfunding way of making your money go to the stuff that you love, the things that um, the purposes that you would be doing if you had the time and the creativity to do. Um, it, it's just a remarkable way of helping make neat stuff happen. Um, so, uh, yeah, ch check it out. Seriously. If you've got two pennies to rub together, there is some way to contribute to some of these projects. Uh, this was a project I was really excited to contribute to. Uh, it is from... Oh, yeah. Anything else? Nice. This is from Chet Zar. He is um, um, one of the big, bigger names in the... Um, dark art movement um he uh paints these lovely i don't know that's not the right word these disturbing uh, uh paintings literally um they're oil on usually on panel i think they're on panel hmm i made a link to a a, a a really cool interview that was with him on i don't remember who but it was another youtube channel um really nice just showing a little bit of his process a little bit of his head and also this is a full length documentary based on uh called i like to paint monsters i don't know anything that's on here but it's just totally my jam as far as like talking about folks who are interested in doing um pushing the envelope things that are not that that snooty high art stuff um uh, but that speak really closely and intimately to um uh the stuff of our lives wow that's a horrible way of describing this um how about this Chet Zar's stuff makes me physically sick to my stomach. Um, these are things that remind me of, of things, creatures, situations I have met in dreams, in nightmares, and it brings up all sorts of queasy little like, hmm, I'm remembering something I really don't want to be remembering. Uh, there are other artists who do that with like less, um, less discomfort. And um, what I really appreciate about Chet is that his stuff is a, uh, it pushes my buttons. Um, I obviously like to have my buttons pushed. Um, so I'm also really intrigued that this is a, uh, it, it's a documentary about him. Um, oh, this is like, so this is signed, the package is signed. It's by, signed by the filmmaker and it looks like by, by Chet. Um, and this was for a Kickstarter um, that is also another incredible concept. Uh, Chet is, is um, he's been painting for quite a while, several years. Um, and he has amassed a large collection of these disturbing figures, um, it, visions of this other reality, let's just say. And so this Kickstarter was um, to collect all of these um, visions and ideas, because at a certain point he realized that they all sort of cohere. Th this, is, this is a, these are all facets of a different, of a dreamscape, of a, a nightmare scape, of a something. So this project was for dystopia with a, uh, yeah, whatever, the, the, the interesting spelling of it. Um, that is sort of a comprehensive, it, it's like an atlas of this uh, nightmare realm, um, which is just, it, it, it sounds like an intriguing project, both from the creation of a, uh, a, um, a comprehensive uh, framework, an atlas, frankly, um, of someone's imagination, which I just love that idea, that, that when individual artworks that are disturbing on their own can can hear can cohere together in something that is um even more that is larger and more comprehensive wow i have to come up with a different word the t-shirt word of the day is comprehensive um and i love that idea so then this could also be a, a i think i think he actually talks about this this could be a jumping off place to like do other kinds to inspire other folks or other kinds of larger projects like movies and that kind of thing and I and I just love that just love the way like a lot of television shows have a have a bible you know to sort of keep co coherent consistency this would be a this could be a really I think this could be actually a watershed sort of uh transformational moment um in his career and also in um in the history of dark art we'll see or dark surrealism or whatever you want, you want to call this stuff I know there's there's debates. I have just sort of gone limp on that debate, and um, yes, dark art is just fine. Uh, uh, I'll talk about. I'll bore you to tears about that notion later. Um, 
because that communicates that notion communicates folks know what that means um, um, you're interested in some it means you're interested more in uh, the sublime you know in, in that sort of yawning a uh, yearning um, partial revulsion partial uh, uh, um, you don't really know what these these um, category these these objects are opening up in you they, they, they are uh, compelling in ways that aren't charming and beautiful and easy to consume um, sure let's call that dark I think that's actually probably more in keeping with what surrealism did uh, and some of the other um, early modernist stuff but uh, but whatever um, and, and however you just however you want to put a label on that Chet is, is doing that stuff um, so I was very enthusiastic because I, I wanted to see I wanted to both see this movie and I also want to see what he's going to do as his next step um, um, and I bet there's a project on Kickstarter that you have this, a similar kind of interest in. Um, uh, there are different um, different types of uh, crowdfunding platforms. Um, you probably know that. Um, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, GoFundMe is a different kind of thing. Uh, what I really love is the idea that I can... Patreon, I support a couple folks on Patreon, um, is that I can... There's a certain number of hours in the day, you know, that I can do my stuff and I can... Uh, create um, the world out there in a way that fits the world in here, don't you know? Um, and the, the crowdfunding allows me to l allow the, uh, the little pieces of paper in my wallet to go even farther and to help other folks who are doing similar kinds of cool, interesting things, making those visions real in the world. Um, so uh, check it out. Um, I will probably be talking more about Chet's art and dark art as I have in the past if you check out the other videos that are probably linked from this one. Uh, I am Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com. Um, till next time.